<laughs> we are exactly one week away from Halloween today. So if you're looking for something to get you into the holiday spirit, there are a ton of haunted options to choose from. That's right. We've sent Carlos Diaz out this morning to one of the most famous spots in central Indiana, famous for its haunted history. Hey, Carlos. Haunted history and haunted tour guide. Alan Hunter is a real life ghost hunter. He's been doing it for over 15 years. So when he tells you ghost stories, you will be scared. And when he leads the Irvington Ghost Tour every Friday and Saturday night at 7 p.m. in October, he promises you that you, you're not going to be like startled, like, ah, but you will walk away from the tour very, very afraid. Well, nothing's going to jump out at you here. I mean, we don't have blood, we don't have skulls, except for what you see here. Our stories are more history-based. I mean, it's Indiana history, it's what happened, and sometimes the story is just enough, and the fact that there's a ghost story attached to it just makes it that much better. It's not haunted by John Dillinger. This is a ghost that they did not want to get rid of. This is a protective ghost. What's a protective ghost? They believe that had this ghost not told them to get there, they may well have lost their lives. Marjorie, what do you think of the tour so far? It is so cool. It's, it's, I'm learning so much. Mm -hmm. All these details that I had no idea, and it's right here in Irvington, just a few miles from my house. Is it scary than you thought it would be? Oh, yeah. The house down there where all the, the little boy was murdered, and yeah, it's really scary. But it's, it's really cool. I can't wait to see what's next. Do you anticipate having a good sleep tonight, or is it going to be tough getting to bed? Um, <laughs> I'm going to have a glass of wine when I go home. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary. I took the tour with about 125 people on Friday, and I was scared. And Alan Hunter is such a scary guy and so committed to being a ghost hunter that he and his wife spend every anniversary going to a different haunted location in America, and they spend the night there. Guys, coming up in 30 minutes, I'm going to tell you about one woman who took this tour on Friday who didn't want to look at her pictures afterwards because she was too frightened about what might be on those pictures. That's coming up at 645. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, look forward to seeing that story. All right, Carlos, see you in a bit.